Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. We have successfully completed all the associations like adding a category, adding a product, editing and all those things is completed. And displaying the products also with the category along with its category also we have did it. Now it's time for us to design a cart page and all those things. Now when we want to design a cart page, so every user has a cart. So he has only the single cart only. So that means we need to have a user details. So up to now in our database, we are not meeting any user details. So here if you try to see our tables are having only the products table and also the category table only. So that means we are having only products table and the category table. So right now we need to have a user table also. <clears throat> and now the user should be associated with the category and also the to the product also. Why? Because a user can create a category, edit a category and also delete a category. And also the user can create a product and all those things also. And the user can also have a <coughs> concept of adding the products into the cart also. So this type of relations we need to maintain it. So first we need to create a user table. So that means we need to create a user model. In that user model afterwards we need to add the association with the category and the products. So let's try to see how we can create the user model and how we can add the associations. Let's try to see in this video. I am not going to design any form for the user and all those things we will we'll not try to do it. We'll try to see in the authentication module and all those things. First, we'll try to learn how we can do it. If I go into this one table, this is our uh, project. And here, let's go to the models. So this is our model. Here I am creating user model. User model dot js. Here I can write constant user is equal to equalize. So this is not the equalize. So we need to import SQLize which is from the utils database. So constant SQLize is equal to required of it should be utils slash database. So this come the, here from here onwards you will get the SQLize. So here I can write SQLize dot define. Here we will be having a user and in this user we need to define ID. First one is an ID which is of type data types <coughs> dot string so we can have dot string and here i will be having auto increment it is of true and also another one what you can say is primary key so we can add a primary key of true that's it say so enough more than enough so let's try to make it as a simple i will be having a name and it will be having type data types dot string so we'll be having dot string and here of uh, so i have used it string so but it should be begin okay and here i'll be having name is a string so you can write hello null of type false so next one we'll be having name and email let's write uh, i am keeping a simple i am keeping name and email only and here will be having type data types dot string this is also string and hello null false so i can have false and we can also keep in another one that is nothing but unique so always the unique the email will be only one one email will be existing only for one user right so that is the reason i am trying to keep it as unique so that it is acts as one type of index now here i can add module dot exports is equal to user that's it so we have created the user now let's user model is completed now it's time for us what we need to do <coughs> we need to create an association okay we need to create an association so how we can create an association let's create a notepad and i will try to tell you if i try if i want to tell you the association so we are having a category okay and we are having a user so user so that means user has many categories so here one user can create many categories and a category belongs to user so this is the association you'll be having and if you come to the products same user can have many products and also in the same scenario product belongs to user so this is the association we should have so now let's go into this one in the app.js and in this app.js we are having this one right so let's try to maintain very simple this is our category okay 
and i will have another one that is nothing but user dot has many has many category okay it has many category and also in the same scenario user has many product so this also has user has many products so this is all users association in the same scenario a category belongs to belongs to user so in the same scenario we can have product also belongs to not belongs to any belongs to belongs to user so this is the association rules which i want to create the association with the user along with the category and the product now we have successfully created association i don't want to create these all the user ta user table user form and updating that all those things i don't want to create those all things let's try to make it as simple as possible when the sql sync is happened okay what i want to do is here <clears throat> i will return user dot find by find by primary key of one so i will try to check that whether the user with the primary key is there or not okay if user is there if that user is there means so then i will catch it will return another promise so here i can tell that if a user is not existing so if the user is not existing i will create user dot okay so this is the user right user dot create and i will create simply name with a leela and also the email with leela at the rate leela.com okay or otherwise we can simply also have leela web dev so this is our name and this is the user we are creating that's it so if it is not there means we are creating now everything is completed so let's try to make it as a force true so for the first time force true and if i try to see here so it is starting it has dropped all those things and it has inserted the users also into the user table if i go to the sequelize and here if i try to refresh the tables refresh all we got all the tables and if you select the categories this time we also got the user id associated in the category categories table and if you see the products <clears throat> along with the category id we also had the user id with the products table and if you see the user we should have one user automatically inserted that is nothing but leela web dev now all the time so when the user is logged in so we will be having this user so let's try to make this one as a user as a permanent we'll make it as a normal thing so i don't want to do all those things so just for concept i am doing these all things so here let's go at the top so whenever we are getting any request okay whenever we are getting any request before loading of this all the middlewares i am using a middleware app dot use so here i will be getting i am not using anything so anywhere any request comes it will go to this one middleware so next and here what i will try to do is i will try to constant user is equal to or otherwise what i can do is user dot find sorry find by pk of one so after creation i am trying to take this one so this returns a response of user and what i will try to do is i will try to save it in the user so that the user will be so that the request will be passed to the next middleware so i am saving that one in the request so we got this one and now i want to pass this request to the next middleware <coughs> So whenever any request comes to here so it will execute this one it will try to get the user id by one and it will store it in the request header if we can save it like that so this will carry to the next middleware that is nothing but the routing middleware you will be having the appropriate more routing it will carry so i'm i'm doing the next thing so this is all we have discussed at the starting of the coding itself when we are learning about the express middlewares and all those things we have learned at the starting only now we are passing this one so now what i need to do so that's it it's completed so let's go into this one here if i now let's work on this categories thing if i click on the categories we are able to see the categories right now i want to click i want to show the username so who has created this category so what i can do here let's go on to this one and here in the category controller that is a home page get category page so what i want to do i want to get all the uh, user details sorry yeah uh, category details so we need to include the user 
so that's it so if you want you can also add attributes what are the attributes you want it so i want attributes something like only the name so i can add only the name that's it we got the categories all categories included with the name if i say refresh this page nothing happens so some problem came here let's try to see no, 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 nothing so that's not a problem i think maybe the server problem i think so here yeah here it is uh, crashing so let's remove this force of true also i will remove this force of true yeah so now it has been executed everything is working fine if i go into this one if i see hey, what happened what is the problem here old man waiting for change changes to be started let's make it seem mm, more road man crash it so let's see that whether we are able to get it or not so i am deleting all the tables again so something has crashed it seems drop three tables i am dropping these all the tables let's run this code again so what i have did here in the app.js nothing is there right request response and next i am using find by id so then user so request dot user i am saving that's it it's not a nothing more is there in this one so let's try to refresh this page let it run so all of them are got executed okay and go into this one refresh this page again what happened so what could be the problem waiting for so what is happening here so let's see again I try to refresh this page so it's getting blocked I think maybe this attributes uh, adding of these attributes only this one maybe this one is creating issue i think maybe the syntax is wrong let's try to refresh this time yeah we are able to get it okay let's leave it like that only and we are going into the categories page let's go on to this categories page in this one i will add the username okay user name and here i can add something like category dot user dot name so i need to get this username right user dot name now if you go here and if i refresh this page okay so we are able to now when i try to create add a category okay we need to create the category with the username which was added so here if you go to the category controller and here in the post category page so we are creating the user we are creating the category without a user so here what i can do is we have a request.user from the request.user we are able to get this one and instead of using category dot create you can use create category or you can use set category also that's it so now when you are trying to create a category so with that user id it will create the category now if i refresh this page and if i go into this one if i click on add category so now the username with that username the category has been successfully added if i go into this mysql and if i click on this user users we are able to get the users and in the tables let's refresh all and here i got the categories and click on the categories we are able to get the categories details also along with the user id associated with it so this is how we need to add actually the categories along with it username in the next video what we'll try to say is we'll try to associate the products also with that same user hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you